in today's video, I'm going to share with you three new moon rituals that you guys can do for this upcoming new moon in Sagittarius or any new moon or basically anytime you want to, but it's more powerful during these times. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new, make sure that you subscribe before you leave. That way you'll never miss out on another fun video like this one. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys three rituals. I'm not going to actually ramble on. Let's just get right into the rituals. Okay, so the first ritual involves bay leaves. That is it. That's all you're going to need. Maybe a lighter. Probably, yeah, actually, yeah, you're going to need a lighter and you're going to need a pen. I love using Sharpies because they work really good on bay leaves. So the first thing you're going to do, because this is the new moon in Sagittarius, we're going to be drawing the Sagittarius zodiac sign on our intention. So the first thing you're going to do is write your intention. I'm going to write happiness. Because I want to bring in happiness, I want to protect it, keep it, you know, all that good stuff. So after you write your intention, what you're going to want to do is write the zodiac sign for Sagittarius right on top of your intention because what we're trying to do is align with this Sagittarius new moon energy specifically align with it flow with it draw it in connect with it you know it's very very powerful to do this so on this bay leaf right here I have the sign for Sagittarius that you could just draw on it's super super easy it's just an arrow with a line through it so after you're done writing your intention what you're gonna do is write that sign of Sagittarius right over your intention. So what are you doing right now? You are connecting your intention with the planetary alignment. You are connecting your intention with the sun, the moon, and Sagittarius energy. It's very, very powerful. So you could do this for one intention. You could do it for 10 intentions. Write all your intentions on like a million different bay leaves. Like I love to write a, a few different ones and light them. And then when you're done writing your intention on your leaf, you just go ahead and burn it. That's it. And you're done. Now the best thing to do after you do a um, ritual like this, especially on the new moon, is to forget about it. Go do something fun. Go do something that takes your mind off everything. Go relax. Pour yourself a glass of wine. Pour yourself a glass of tea, coffee, whatever it is, and just relax. And it's okay if your bay leaf does not burn all the way through. Sometimes you gotta push the energy. You never want to just give up just because your bay leaf did not burn through all the way. If there was a block, then you know like there was a block. Then you just keep pushing through it, you know, keep burning it until it pushes through. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off of the camera and let's get on to the second ritual. In our second ritual, you're just going to need an orange um, candle. That's it. This is one that I got from the dollar store. It is spiced pumpkin, which is perfect because, come on, Thanksgiving season. Um, the colors are very aligned with Sagittarius energy right now as well. And then you're going to need a carnelian crystal. If you don't have the carnelian crystal, it's okay. You can still do this without the crystal, but the crystal adds that alignment. The crystal adds that energy, that little boost. Um, and you're also going to need something to carve your candle with. So I have here a incense stick that I used up, and I'm just going to be using the back of my incense sticks. So fun little fact, I like to use the back of my incense sticks to carve candles. Now, what you're going to do is open your candle up, or if it's already open, whatever, and then you're going to carve your name into here, okay? So I'm going to carve mine really quickly. And your birth date, you're going to carve that in there too. And then you're going to carve your intention in there. So what are you trying to attract? You're going to carve that in there. I'm going to write mine very quickly. And you could write your intention you could write it however long you want to, however short you want to. It's up to you, whatever you want, okay? So that's basically it. That's all I'm going to do. You can add herbs in there if you want to. You could add some oils in there if you want to. Herbs and oils, I just restocked on my shop if you guys are interested. Um, but it's totally optional. The next thing you're going to want to do is drop your carnelian crystal in your candle. And then you're going to light your candle. And that's it. That right there was a little really, really powerful ritual too. So that's it. Your intention is set forth into the universe on this new moon. The crystal is amplifying it. The crystal is aligning with the way that this new moon is coming to us. The colors and the scents of the candle are aligning with the way that the new moon energy is coming to us. And we're just aligning with it and we're aligning our intention with it. So it's very, very powerful. 
Also, when you do light the candle and it's lit all the way, it's done and all the wax is gone, what you could do is throw the jar away. You don't have to keep anything. You can throw it away. Um, but that crystal, do not throw the crystal away because you just charged and activated that crystal with energy. That is Sagittarius energy. If you did this on the Sagittarius new moon, it's very, very amplified with very high vibration energy. So you do not want to throw your crystal away. Keep it with you. You can recharge it again the next new moon. You can use it now. It's activated and charged. Okay, for the third and last ritual, what you're going to need is incense and a little tiny piece of paper and an incense holder. Um, you can get these at Walmart. They're like a buck. So they're very, very inexpensive. They're super cute. Um, and they hold your incense and catch the ash at the same time. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going, and I'm sorry for my mark here. I've said it so many times on my channel, but I like lighting candles and I like doing all my ritual stuff on my white table. Um, so that's why I got so many stains. But you're going to take your white piece of paper right here and you're going to take a pen and you're going to write your intention on this piece of paper. Now what I like to do is write my full name and I write my birth date over my name. And then I'm gonna write my intention. Now you could do this. Like what I like to do with my intentions is scribble them on so that only me and the universe know. It's like a secret thing. I don't know, for me, I always like to do that. You could write it neatly. You could write it very, very neatly, like, like you know, like a paragraph. You could scribble it like I do. Whatever you choose to do, make sure that it, you're happy with it because that's very, very important. When you're happy with it, you send in even more powerful energy. So this makes me happy. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write my intention. And then for an extra boost, like I showed you guys the Sagittarius sign, you could actually put the Sagittarius sign to align with that Sagittarius energy. And then you're gonna take your, do you guys see what I just did right there? It's okay. <laughs> that is just, I will never learn for like white tables. I will never have a table that's not white and then I will always get it dirty. I'm gonna take my incense. The reason I'm using sandalwood rose is because roses raise the vibration. Roses are very, very powerful for raising the vibration, attracting what you want, love, healing. It's a very, very good scent, very, very good ingredient to work with and sandalwood. The reason I'm using sandalwood is because it's very, very aligned with this new moon energy that we're having. And sandalwood is very pleasing to the gods. So wherever this smoke reaches, I want it to reach the, my higher self, the universe, God, whoever, like in order to please them, you know? So if you guys are interested, I do have a few of these up on my shop. But what I'm gonna do is take my incense. You're only going to need one for this. So one pack of incense comes with 20 sticks. You can actually do 20 intentions in one night. Um, don't ever limit yourself. If you wanna do 20 intentions in one night, do 20. And then what I'm going to do is put my piece of paper here, or you can roll your piece of paper up, if you can see what I'm doing. Stick your incense right through it. So what you're doing is have having the incense and what you could do is like, you can tape this on. You can actually tape it on if you want to. I'm just gonna fold it on and it, it stays if you just fold it and crease it like that. And then you put in your incense holder. Your intention is right there. And now you're gonna be, you're literally like lighting your intention and the smoke is gonna carry this out into the ethers, out into the universe. So whatever you wrote, and then the vibration of sandalwood, vibration of rose, if you choose not to use sandalwood rose, you can use something else, whatever you're drawn to. And then what you do is you just light your incense and your little ritual is done. This, this is very, very powerful too. I wanted to show you guys very, very simple ways to do rituals on the new moon, just by using probably things you already have at home. So there you go. My intention is lit. Do you guys see the smoke is going out into the universe and it makes me feel really, really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys really, really soon. Bye.